You have a new look. Is it uh, for a new project that you're working on? Oh, this, you mean? Yes. Something we're not uh, used to seeing. This is for the character that I'm doing called Mike Chambers in the picture with Audrey Hepburn that I'm starting next week. And a uh, wonderful character. Uh, you're looking forward to working with her? Oh, uh, highlight. Real big highlight. She's a wonderful lady, and uh, I very fortunate to be involved with her. I have a great deal of respect for her and, and uh, I'm really just thrilled. Really a highlight of my career. Can you tell us a little bit about the project? Well, it's um, rather a difficult one to explain, but it's a, it's a adventurous, romantic comedy. And a uh, very nice script written by a young lady called Sally Robinson. And, it's going to be directed by Roger Young, a wonderful director, and it's all looking very well. You know, actors um, never know when there's a part out there that's lurking around that somebody wants you for. And I was real, real happy that this one fell in for me. Now, you have a few other projects in the works. Hmm? Could you explain those? First, maybe the one with Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, the one with Elizabeth Taylor is, uh, uh, I've finished that one. We're just in post-production. It should be on the air in November on ABC. I don't know the date yet. Uh, that's a project called There Must Be a Pony. And uh, I found this book and uh, I produced it with uh, our company in Columbia. And it's a good, it's a good script. It's a wonderful character for her. She's got a great opportunity, uh, I think, and I think she's <clears throat> quite wonderful in the film. Quite wonderful. She plays an, uh, an actress who is experiencing some very uh, difficult emotional moments when we find her in our story, and uh, she's uh, overcomes those to a certain certain degree, and then some tragedy happens in the piece. And, now you'll be working with Stephanie Powers again? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what an enjoyable show. Will that be a lot like the Heart to Heart? Is it the same well, idea? Yeah, I think so. we're going to try to keep it like that. It's, uh, it's going to be hopefully a romp. You know, we don't want to do anything about where the hearts have been or what they've been doing or anything like that. It'll just be a continuation of their marvelous life together. I'm, in, I'm looking forward to that very much. Oh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the up-and-coming actors. So, uh, how difficult is it to get into this, the world of acting now? Do you see that it's changed since the time you entered the business? Well, I think it's more difficult from the standpoint that uh, uh, actors, you know, you have to have the part, you have to have the material, and and I think that um, the, the difficulty is the training ground. You know, the 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 pictures, and for instance in television, you can play these one-on-one -on -one things. An actor really has a chance to, uh, to, uh, to do more intimate work than you do in film, actually, in, in motion pictures. But the big problem is the training ground. You know, when I, was, when I got started, you could you know, get, get some stage experience, you could get uh, film experience and all that. You could be... be uh, the public could find you a little bit more easier than they do now. But, you know, your apprenticeship is hard to take in this business. And all of a sudden you can find yourself propelled into a part and you feel like you may not have the, the background that can continue and support your, your, uh, your craft, you know. Although, listen, you know, you, it, it's so, it, it's such timing in this business. And when, I, when, I, when I'm talking, I start to reflect about, you know, there's these wonderful, wonderful dramatic, dramatic departments and colleges and, and uh, high schools are continuing and kids, uh, young people are playing wonderful works of uh, Williams and Faulkner and things like that. And I, uh, that's a great training ground as well. It's just, a, it's just a, you have to kind of pursue it and drive for it and go for it. But there aren't the opportunities I don't think that there were when I started the business, I wouldn't say. 
Okay, good. Thank you very much. Is that enough, Cheryl? Yes. Tell We're out of time also. Oh, you're out of time? <laughs> yeah. Wrapped up. No. And pause tape, please. I want to see how it all comes together. You know, that was very interesting for me was I put together, I had access because Jane, my mother, gave me all of it. Mm -hmm. All of the newsreel, all, I mean, all of her professional life. All of her professional life I had, you know, on tape. Yeah. So I ran this, and I kept looking at it over and over again. And the thing that was fascinating to me was that the news media's point of view, everyone took a different point of view because the news media wanted to have conflict, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. ABC would think it would be wonderful if she went to Russia. NBC would think it would be bad. And they started pulling her back and forth, you know, into these different, trying to put her in these different categories, which had nothing really to do with what she, with what she was doing. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. That's an interesting aspect of it. And I, I want to show that part of it, because even with all of that uh, negativity, her spirit kept on top of it. Mm -hmm. Fascinating little girl, wasn't she? Oh, yeah. yeah. All set? Yeah. What are we doing? Are you talking to me? I'm just going to get a couple of uh, reaction I'm shots. I'm good at reactions. <laughs> now I have to just look at you. Just look at me. That's all you do? You don't ask me anything? Why don't you tell me a little bit more about the project with <laughs> Samantha? Oh, that was oh, interesting. Well, yeah, I, I, I have to see how it evolves, but I can tell you that I'm pretty certain that it, uh, wasn't as simple as it all came about. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't think that they wouldn't have screamed her a bit before she went over. It. But with all of those aspects of it, she oh. still prevailed. That's it. Yeah. Wonderful little girl. Did you ever meet her? No, I never met her. You didn't interview her? News conference. That was it. I didn't oh, get a chance to talk to her. At the airport? Yeah. They had all of, that, all of the... Uh,